Welcome to this session of Solutions for IT Operations, presented to you by OSS Integrators. In this session, we will be illustrating an out-of-the-box solution for maintenance window management offered by IBM as part of their Tivoli Netpool suite. This solution comes with Netpool Impact and is integrated with Netpool Omnibus. In this session, we will simply illustrate how to configure a maintenance window as well as the positive impact that utilizing this functionality can have on the events your operation center may be dealing with. So let's jump right in. What you can see on the screen now is a dashboard created to highlight components of this solution. In the top row, we have four event filters, three out of the box and one custom created for this demo. We have the all events filter, last 10 minutes, actionable, and in maintenance. The actionable filter is the one we've created for this demo. As we can see, there's also only one event here. Wouldn't that be great? The next two panels we have are active event lists. The first active event list is for actionable events, and the second for in maintenance events. As we can see, in the active event list for actionable events, there's one event. This event is an interface fast Ethernet 06 down on the device Cisco Switch 1. So let's jump right in and add a maintenance window. We'll select the maintenance window management option. And now we'll select a one-time window. As we can see in the screen, there are a number of parameters that can be used to define a maintenance window. In this case, we have uh, node, alert group, alert key, location, and then the start and end time of the window. In our case, we know we're dealing with a node that is going to be rebooted, so we'll just put the entire node in maintenance mode. Cisco switch 1. We'll make sure our time zone is set properly. No need to put anything in the alert group, alert key, or location. And we'll add a start time. It's now 8.46. Let's just say this is from 8.45. We'll give them a 10 minute window until 8.55 and we'll say add window. Another option is to create a recurring window and that's what you would do in a standard environment when you have set maintenance windows that may occur say every night from midnight to 2 a.m. Now let's take a look at the window we've just created, view windows. We created a one-time window, we'll view those. As you can see, we've had a number of other devices that have expired their maintenance window. We have a new one now, its status is green, meaning active. And there are no future one-time maintenance windows scheduled. With that, let's jump back to our event dashboard. And so, Let's go back to our event dashboard, and we'll see now that the, the event we were looking at has moved to the maintenance window in maintenance filter, and the actionable is now cleared. We'll reboot the box. inserting a number of events to simulate this with a 24 port switch we should see each of those ports coming down. Let's refresh our screen here and we can see 24 events coming in to our in maintenance window. If we'd like to see them all we can select this and we see pick our maintenance window view we see all of these interface fast ethernet 01 through 024 down. Now we'll simulate the box coming back up. And let's see what happens here now. We'll refresh our screen and we see they've all cleared. Oh, looks like interface fast ethernet 06 has not cleared and this has not resolved our problem. Well, 
we're not sure what we're going to do now but as this maintenance window ends the interface FE06 down will come back to our active actionable events now that our maintenance window has expired if we refresh these events refresh our view okay let's take a look our maintenance window I'm sure it has expired we see the status has expired going back to our event dashboard we'll refresh our events the event list seems to be refreshing a little slower but we can see here in the actionable filter our one event is populated in maintenance is empty and now as we refresh we'll see fast ethernet 06 is still down all of our maintenance events have cleared the system sent to the archive for recording purposes and now we must troubleshoot interface FE06 what we've illustrated here is an out-of-the-box solution from IBM for implementing a maintenance window in most env environments this solution would be tailored to support your organization's change management process for example if you have your own CMDB or inventory asset database which is already in use and used for change management those tools can be utilized and integrated into this solution or a similar solution in, the, in this case what we have is a database which stores the maintenance window an impact policy which reads information from the CMDB and enriches events within the object server thereby suppressing or unsuppressing events based on their maintenance mode status this is just one of many possible solutions if you have any questions about this or any other netcool related solutions you may be interested in please contact us at OSS Integrators. Thanks.